Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell Precision R7920 workstation. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to update the BIOS. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell Precision R7920 workstation. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to show you how to update the BIOS. Now, I'll say before we get into all this, there's a video right after this called Mass Updates. That's what I recommend doing because that's going to update the BIOS, the firmware, the onboard diagnostics, plus a bunch more. But if you're in a pinch and you don't have an operating system and you just need to somehow update this, maybe you're remarketing it and reselling it, whatever the case may be, here's a good way to go about doing it. Okay. So that being said, all you're going to need is a USB. What we're going to do is we're going to create a bootable USB with a program called Rufus. We're going to download the EFI file, install it onto our bootable USB, and then we're simply just going to pop it into the back and run mat or and run uh, the BIOS update. So it's a, a pretty simple process overall, and we'll show you step-by-step -step instructions right now. All right, so what we're going to do now is show you how to update the BIOS step-by-step -step instructions for your 15th gen server. So the way we're going to do it is if you do not have an operating system, this is just a quick and easy way to update your BIOS, assuming that you don't have a hard drive or maybe you don't have a network connection. This will only require a USB thumb drive and a computer that does have internet access. All right, so now we're going to download the BIOS EFI file. So in order to do this, we are going to head over to Dell.com and we're going to hover over the support tab and click support home from the drop down menu. Now we're going to scroll down to identify your product or search support. Type in the model of your server and select the one with precision in front. Now we're going to head over to the drivers and downloads tab. Under the drop down for operating system, we are going to select not applicable. Under the drop down for category, we're going to select BIOS. The download button for the BIOS update will be for an EXE file, which is only going to run in Windows. What we want is an EFI file, so what we need to do is click the drop down arrow that's to the right of the download button. Then we're going to navigate to other formats and download the EFI file. So locate the EFI file that we just downloaded and simply move it over to the USB. You can just drag it over and that's all you have to do. During the post, we want to hit F11 and enter the boot manager. Select system utilities in the boot manager. Select BIOS update file explorer in system utilities. Select the USB drive in the BIOS update file explorer. Now you're going to actually see the EFI file. You're going to want to select the EFI file to start the BIOS update. So this is temporarily going to check the BIOS image. This may take a few minutes to do. So we like to fast forward through this part of the video, not to waste anyone's time. But what will pop up is the next screen will show you that the BIOS update has started. And when it starts, it's going to show you your current BIOS version and it's going to show you the BIOS version that you are upgrading or updating to. You're going to want to select continue BIOS update in order to proceed. Now do note that your system may take a few minutes before it allows you the opportunity to select the continue button. Do not worry, this delay is normal, uh, it's just part of the process. Your system is updating the BIOS so it will take a few minutes in the background for everything to get done. And if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, we do Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. We'd love the opportunity to earn your home lab or your data center's business. We also do new and we do use. Please email us at sales at cloudnews.com. That's sales at cloudnews.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.